I have called into the show on the special Rush Limbaugh is dead hotline. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's Sam. Yeah, um, yeah, I think I know. Uh, hey, guys. Um, I heard the horrible news that um, we can no longer do Random Rush uh, on the program. That segment, which I don't even know, Emma, if you've ever experienced. And I, I, have I feel once. horrible, horrible about the fact that we will not be able to do that segment anymore for any new material. We could always go back, I guess. So I guess I feel better in that respect. Uh, but I did want to call in and note the passing of Rush Limbaugh. Um, I don't think that people or society are going to feel the impact right away because he has not been, you know, um, he hasn't been on air as much as he used to be um, because of his uh, cancer. And he's not quite as relevant relevant as he, he used to be because of, of Donald Trump. But I imagine a healthier living Rush Limbaugh would have um, made the next three or four years or eight years or who knows um, that much worse for the American society, maybe the world, I mean, depending on uh, the opportunity for a war. So I think in that respect, if you're interested in a society where people um, people care about each other and, 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 and take care of the, the needs of, of uh, as many people as possible, uh, then you're probably happy about it today. If you're one of those people who are hoping that uh, people could bathe in their own ignorance and uh, resent of people who are not exactly like them, then maybe you're sad. And so I just wanted to call in and say that I'm probably in the in the former category. I was going to ask, right, Sam? So you know, that's how you define yourself, right? Or are you kind of in between? Well, you know, I'm sad about the random rush thing mm -hmm. because we had a graphic that we had already made for that. And that is very, very difficult to come by to, to get graphics. And so in that respect, I regret, I have regret. So in much terms time of everything wasted. else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it just, you know, um, you know, you, you often hear of like people say like, Oh, um, I meant to call that person that day and I didn't. And then they died and I feel bad about it. Well, I feel bad that I didn't spend more time critiquing uh, the horribleness that he said over the past couple of years. Uh, and I, and you know, I've learned my lesson. If we, we start, uh, you know, I'm not going to pass up opportunities to critique other people who I think put toxins into our society. Uh, and, um, that's one thing I've learned from it, but, uh, but that's my biggest regret is just that, that, um, that whole intro that we had for random rush is not going to be used anymore. So, that's so, so two questions. One, does this mean we'll be doing more Brian Kilmeade segments just because, um, obviously, you know, we, we need to milk that for all it's worth in case something tragic happens. That's exactly my point. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's, that's well said. Uh, I would hate to look back and say, you know, someone like that passes, or maybe it's not necessarily me. It could be a bunch of different people and say, oh, I never took the opportunity to really critique them in the way I should have. Um, and my, my and, other question uh, is, where are you right now? I am... Uh, on vacation with my kids. Right, right. But are you uh, sure you're not in, you know, within 10 miles of Rush Limbaugh's house? I'm not saying that we went to Florida, if that's what you're asking. I would never discuss that. No, I would never. I certainly wouldn't travel by plane at this juncture because of uh, COVID. But um, no, I'm not anywhere near there. Uh, I'm just trying to see if you were implicated in his death. That's really what I'm trying to get at. No, of course not. And well... I mean, look, um, uh, I, I don't know if you ever saw that movie, Carrie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, telekinesis. Yeah. I mean, I'll leave it there. I'll wow. leave it there. I didn't know you had that in you. Yeah. I do, I, I'm not saying I do. 
I'm just saying, I don't know if you ever saw that movie. That's no, I mean, I'm just, I'm saying that, you know, I never took you for, for magical and or possessed either way. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that I am. I'm just saying telekinesis. So, okay. All right. well, here's that stinger one more time for you, Sam. <laughs> So hope you enjoyed that, folks. It's the last time you'll be seeing it. No, I don't know. I mean, I may, I mean, I may, I may deploy it once or twice when we get back, uh, when I get back next Monday. So, you know, but I just want to call in uh, Emma. You're doing a great job, Matt. You're doing a great job. Um, your voices, the way that you guys have trained your voice to be so much uh, deeper and huskier. <laughs> you need scissors. Yeah, okay. I need to get my kid scissors. Uh, I, I was listening to uh, yesterday's show, and uh, you guys have really perfected your radio voices. Yeah, um, well. Good, good work with it was, that. It was a lot of, uh, lot smoother smoother of a ride this show, so you picked a bad one to listen to. Oh, uh, no, that's all right. I thought I, I was enjoying it. I really was actually impressed. I was like, wow, uh, Emma really, uh, she sounds she's like I'm working on her radio voice. Mm-hmm. Very, there's a lot of gravitas mm. uh, in that. It's well, pretty sexist, but, uh, but good sure. Luck with, good luck with the uh, the rest of the, <laughs> the show. Um, well, I felt the same way about Matt, but he was he was explaining when he got on to explain it. Then it ruined it all for me. When he realized, I realized the pitch was slowed. Um, but uh, enjoy the rest of the show, and I will. You know, I'm going to pour uh, one out for uh, for Rush uh, tonight. Um, it's not going to be anything I would drink right. that I would pour out. I mean, it would probably just like gas. I don't know. Gasoline. It could be gasoline. Like, yeah. Uh, or I uh, sometimes save some of the old oil from uh, that you drain from a car or a tractor, and so that I may pour that out. And then, of course, I'll put it into a bucket. I don't want to put it on the ground. Yeah. But I'm going to do the grease reserve for my air fryer. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Mm. Um, I'll pour out my litter box. How about that? Yeah. I mean, I mean my cat's so litter box. I don't use it. <laughs> That's a good idea, too. <laughs> All right, guys. Goodbye. We'll Call about, yeah. I don't hung- dive too uh-huh. deep in that bottle. Rest in power, random rush interstitial. That I often forgot to put on, but you know, I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love how he just called in. I didn't even admit him. He's just flexing his muscle as uh, the boss man. 